If you want to make a an MP3 CD, the first thing to do is go over here where it says Media Player for MP3s. Double click on that to open the program. And then put in the CD you want, the first CD you want to rip songs from. And of course, rip is the word for taking songs off of a CD, and burn is the word for putting songs on. So I've put the CD in the tray. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take... I'm going to take the first song from these first three CDs I picked up and just make a composite CD for you. And so when you open, when you put a CD in the tray, it'll automatically be recognized by the program and you'll have some or all or none of these checked. If you have all of them checked and you don't want very many songs, you can just click this to uncheck all of them and then select the songs you do want to burn. So let's say you wanted at the hop and jailhouse rock you could just select those but I'm just gonna get jailhouse rock and then click rip CD and it's just gonna take a minute to rip the CD and once it does that the CD will the CD tray will open automatically and when it does I'm gonna put in the next CD so the tray open I'm taking out the first one I'm putting in the next one I'm closing it, and then the CD is going to be recognized again. And just like the first one, when the list of songs comes up, I'm going to unselect all of them, and then just select the one I do want. By the way, I'm pressing pause here, so it just doesn't have music playing in the background. But So now I've selected the, the one track I want. I'm going to click Rip CD, and there it goes again. So when this one is done, I'm going to put in the next CD. Well, when this one is done, the tray will op open automatically, and I'll put in the next CD. Nice and quick. So it's done. The tray is opening. I'm taking out the old CD. I'm putting in the next CD. And again, when the playlist, or when the track list comes up, I'm going to deselect everything and then just select the one track I want after pausing the music. Deselect all, select the one I want, and click on rip. Okay, and so once this one is done ripping, the CD will eject, and then I'm going to want to create a burn list. So remember burning, obviously you know you know about burning. Burning is when you're putting these MP3s onto one disc. All right, so the CD has ejected. I'm taking it out. I'm putting it away. And now if I want to make a burn list, I go over here in the upper right where it says burn. I left click on that. And see here it says drag items here to create a burn list. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over here to the lower left and click on my start menu. And then up here where it says music, I'm going to click on that. And it might look a little different next time you open this, this folder. It might look like this, or it might look like this, but what you want to do is you want to be looking at the song. So if you open it up and it looks like this, click over here where it says album, or it might say folder, or CD, or something like that. Click on that with the left button. Go down this list and click on song. And now you're looking at all the songs you have in your music folder. Now, I know I want Jailhouse Rock on this CD, and I know I want boy from whatever that is, so the boy from New York City on this CD, and I also want only you on this CD. But actually, I changed my mind. I want Jailhouse Rock to be last. So in each case, what I was doing was left-clicking, holding down the left mouse button, and then dragging over here and letting go. And I've accidentally put Jailhouse Rock on there twice, so what I'm going to do is left click on that over here and just press the delete key and it's gone from the list. If I want to change the order I just left click hold down and then drag and then let go and so that way I can arrange the playlist order for the CD I'm about to make. Now that's really it you you're just next you're gonna to have to press start burn except there's you just want to go over here where it says burn options left click and hold down and make sure data CD or DVD is what is selected because you don't you don't you you want to make it if presumably you're making a very large CD with lots of songs on it 
Um, if you wanted to make a shorter one that could play on any CD player, you, you could select audio CD. But for now, we're going to do a data CD. So I'm just going to make sure that's selected. It is, so I'm going to click here, up here to close that menu. And then I'm going to click Start Burn. And the CD tray op opened up. Actually, I had the CD tree tray open. If I had a, an actual burnable CD in there, then it would have closed and started the, the burning process. But I'm not going to waste a burn CD just for this example. Just know that that's how it works. And so I'm going to click Cancel. And I'm going to close this program. The last step is once you're done doing all the burning you want to do and you have a whole bunch of files in this directory, um, I would suggest cleaning them out. So you can either hold the left mouse key down and drag from an empty area into a cover, an area where the songs are listed and select them all that way and then press delete or you can just press the control key and the A key at the same time and let go and that selects all of them and then you click on delete and say yes and that sent them all to the recycle bin go over here and right click on the recycle bin and empty recycle bin yes I do want to delete them all and that's it and you can close this directory and by now your CD would be done burning alright that's it